Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. And if you haven't been following along, I have just finished up the Fucked and Hand Washing Challenge of this year. It actually ended yesterday on Sunday. I I'm recording this on Monday, so hopefully it'll go up today. And I am really behind on the prompts because my son and I both were sick this week. So I am trying to catch up right now and I'm going to do Saturday and Sunday's prompts in this video since they are both sit down topics like just talking and not demonstrating. So I'm going to start with Saturday's. Saturday's prompt was what's working for you and what is not working. I'll start with what's working because that's the positives. Getting started I already knew these diapers would work for us because they are already majority of our stash are these t-shirt diapers, flannel blankets, these cotton flats, and I included my stretchy flats in this challenge. Even though I know some people were kind of thinking that's not... I can't words. Some people were trying to stick mostly to flannel blankets and the flower sack towels because that's more realistic for starting a cheap stash immediately but I feel like it is realistic to have a few stretchy flats later on because that's that's how I did it we had to switch our stash immediately because disposables were making my son's penis bleed um, he was allergic to he was not really allergic but super sensitive to the bamboo and PUL, TPU, all of the common materials and a lot of cloth diapers like the fleece, the micro suede everything and he was getting really bad bleeding rashes from all of these so we had to switch all of our diapers immediately and to be honest we really can't afford disposables anyway it's his whole body too not just his diaper area like he if he wears a fleece jacket he gets a rash all around his neck and shoulders so when we switched we had to use flannel blankets t-shirts and flower sack towels and as time went on very slowly, I sold things to get money to buy some of the nicer stretchy flats, the nicer brands like Fruit of the Womb, Humbird, Seed to Sapling. We have those now be and because I sold things, not because we could like immediately afford it. So I understand people not using them for the challenge, but I wanted to include them because for me it is our, rea it is our reality. Um... Anyway, back to what was working. The wash routine, I was working really well. Mostly I had an, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do already um, because I had hand washed when our washer broke last year. And But then I did it with a plunger. My plunger broke so I had to kind of wing it after that because it broke actually in the middle of my for my pre-wash and so I had ordered this like really small not this small but I don't know why I did that I ordered a really small washboard because I couldn't find a decent sized one that wasn't crazy expensive because people call them vintage and antiques so they were kind of hard to get for a decent price so I had a tiny one and it was real pain in the butt so this challenge was actually my first time using a decent sized washboard and it made a huge difference. It was a lot easier and faster to use and it was easier on my back so that worked out great. The bucket I used worked great because I didn't use a five gallon bucket. I used a dirty clothes bin. Oh someone's coming inside. It might get loud in a minute. Um, What wasn't working was washing at night because I was waiting for the kids to go to bed and of course since Elisha wasn't feeling well, he was waking up a lot, he didn't want to go to sleep, so I was washing like past midnight, washing diapers, and that just was not, wasn't doing it. So, if I were to keep this going longer than just this week, I would have to switch to washing in the morning or afternoon. So moving on to Sunday's prompt, how did it go and what did you learn? It went pretty smoothly, but mostly because I already knew what diapers would work for us. I, I already know folds. Um, so this is actually, um, in that regard, as to what to use and how to use it, it went smoothly. It was perfect. A lot better than the first two times I did the challenge. But 
this was also the hardest challenge I have done. This being my third one. And I have, like, it's been, like, real life a couple times, too. This has been the hardest. And I think mostly just because we were sick. And so it was so hard to keep up and so hard just to get through it. But it's just because we were out four days. Four days we were sick and getting, like, nothing done. So it was overwhelming getting so far behind. Mostly because I felt like I had to get these prompts done for the challenge part. And I think that put extra pressure on top of being sick. And so this was just an extra stressful challenge this year. And as for what I've learned... The biggest thing I've learned from this year is that if I have a working washer and dryer in my house, that is sitting in the back of my mind as I'm scrubbing these diapers and I'm halfway through a load or I'm getting ready to wring it out to hang it up to dry. And I'm in the back of my mind, I'm, I, I'm hearing, it would be so much easier to just throw it in the machine. The machine's right in that other room. It would be so much easier. Whereas when I didn't have the machines... I had no trouble doing getting through it, and I, I didn't have to like argue with myself and push myself to do it. It's just another thing that needed to get done. It's like washing your dishes; it needs to get done, so you just do it. So it's definitely harder as a challenge than as real life, in my experience. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for following me through this challenge and for putting up with me being late on these videos. Um, if you are aware of the prompts, you will notice that I skipped Friday's prompt, which was a free topic. You can do whatever you want, and that's just because I'm feeling really pressed for this. And it's getting really stressful and overwhelming because I got behind. So I will have another video up later in this week. Not specifically for that challenge, but just it'll be flats related. And then I will prepare for a C2 sapling review little video type thing like I had mentioned two weeks ago I believe so see you next time guys L and Grace might join me for the next video because I we all know how much she loves making videos bye